Welcome to this edition of NHL Historic Rebuild featuring the 2009-2010 Florida Panthers. The journey starts at the 2009 NHL Draft where we will be drafting Chris Kreider, Dmitry Orlov, and Matthias Ekholm. These three players will be very key players in our team moving forward. The first trade we are going to make is trade Brian McCabe, Rostislav Olish, and Sean Mathias to the Buffalo Sabres for Andre Sakara, Nathan Gerby, and a third round pick in 2010, which we will be using to select Jonas Donskoy. The Florida Panthers will now be in rebuilding mode, which means that we are trying to trade the veteran players to a contending team. Brian McCabe will be much more useful but they aren't likely to fit on a team like the Panthers or get consistent ice time on a team like the Panthers. Andre Sakara will develop into a top four defenseman for the Panthers in the future. Nathan Gerby can be a solid role player for the Panthers who provides speed on the bottom six. Jonas Donskoy will eventually develop into a top six forward in the future. The second trade we are going to make is trade Thomas Focoon, Keaton Ellerby, and Mike Duco to the St. Louis Blues for Lars Eller and a first round pick in 2010, which is going to be used to select Vladimir Tarasenko. Since the Florida Panthers are now in a rebuild, there is no point in wasting Thomas Bakun's prime on a rebuilding team. The St. Louis Blues are an up and coming team right now. All they really need is the number one goalie. So Thomas Bakun definitely fits the bill. Vladimir Tarasenko will give the Panthers a pure scoring winger, something they haven't had since Pavel Bore. Lars Eller will be a good third-line center for the Panthers. The third trade we are making is sending Steven Weiss, David Booth, Dennis Seidenberg, and Evgeny Dadanov to the Vancouver Canucks for Corey Schneider, Michael Grabner, and a second-round pick in 2012, which is going to be used to select Shane Gossespierre, and... Steve Bernier. After training away Thomas Bocoon, the Panthers need to trade for a number one goalie for the future. This trade is real hard to make because Stephen Weiss right now is the number one center. Booth was an important player for the Panthers. Seidenberg is a very good defenseman and Dadanoff has loads of potential. However, Corey Schneider is the real deal and you need to pay up in order to get a good number one goalie. Michael Grabner and Steve Bernier can be very good role players for the Panthers. Shane Gossespierre will be a very important part of the defensive core in the future. The fourth trade we are making is sending Corey Stillman, Steve Reinkret, and Jordan Leopold to the Boston Bruins for Adam McQuaid and a second round pick in 2011, which is going to be used to select Brandon Saad. Since the Panthers are really in full rebuild mode right now, these three players are no longer needed on the team. They would be much more useful on the contending team like the Bruins. McQuaid would provide a physical presence on the blue line. Brandon Saad would be a key member of the team in the future. The next trade we are making is sending Keith Ballard, Dominic Moore to the San Jose Sharks for Damian McGinn and a fifth round pick in 2010, which is going to be used to select John Klingberg. Keith Ballard will provide depth on the blue line for the San Jose Sharks. Dominic Moore would provide depth up front and would give them a good fourth line center. Jamie McGinn is a very versatile forward who can play anywhere in the lineup and would 
be very useful for the Panthers. John Klingberg can be a very key defenseman for the future. The last trade we are making is sending Brian Allen, Radek Dvorak, and Kamel Krebs to the Ottawa Senators for a third round pick in 2012, which is going to be used to select Matt Murray, and a fourth round pick in 2011, which is going to be used to select John Gabriel Pajot. This trade is really just to clear some players off the roster, so we are just going to get some picks. Allen and Dvorak get to play on a contending team. Matt Murray will provide depth and goal. J JP gives the Panthers depth at the center position. This brings us to the 2010 NHL Draft, where we will be selecting four very important players for our team. And Evgeny Kuznetsov, Jason Zucker, Jonas Donskoy, and John Klingberg. They will be a vital part of our team moving forward. So to wrap up this NHL historic rebuild, the Florida Panthers would have added by a trade Andre Sakara, Nathan Gerby, Lars Eller, Corey Schneider, Michael Grabner, Steve Bernier, Adam McQuaid, Jamie McGinn. They would have added by a draft Chris Kreider, Dmitry Orlov, Matisse Ekholm, Jonas Donskoy, Evgeny Kuznetsov, Vladimir Tarasenko, Jason Zucker, John Klingberg, Brandon Saad, John Gabriel Peugeot, Matt Murray, and Shane Gossespierre. They would have lost Brian McCabe, Rosales Olish, Sean Mathias, Thomas Vokun, Keaton Ellerby, Mike Duco, Stephen Weiss, David Booth, Dennis Seidenberg, Evgeny Dadanov, Corey Stillman, Steve Reinkret, Jordan Leopold, Keith Ballard, Dominic Moore, Brian Allen, Radic Dvorak, and Jamil Krebs. I just want to make one note. Before I said that there are four real important players drafted in the 2010 NHL draft, there actually was five because I forgot that there was a 2010 first round pick that was traded to the Panthers. And I forgot that Tarasenko was actually picked in the 2010 draft with the pick that was given to them by the Blues. So Tarasenko is one of the more important players that will be part of the Panthers moving forward. So in the 2010 draft, they would have added Vladimir Tarasenko, Evgeny Kuznetsov, Jason Stoker, J Jonas Donskoy, and John Klingberg. After rebuilding the 2009-2010 Florida Panthers, they will be in position to contend in three years. Not only will they be contending, they will have a great core of forwards, a good core of defensemen, and two very good young goalies. Next, I will be rebuilding the 2010-2011 Columbus Blue Jackets.